Hello, Aternum, and welcome to KOTT News, Aternum's number one source for news. And this is the War Report. Dynamic change in the history of Aternum last night as the marauders of Nice Deck conquer the keep and take control of the master shrimping delta of Reekwater. KOTT News were on the scene and spoke with company leadership about the outcome. Hello, my friend, John Chalant, KOTT News, the terms number one source for news. Would you care to say a few words about your victory tonight? Yeah, you know, John, uh, we ran it back with them. You know, we, we fought against Commit about a week ago, got into fort, didn't go very well. Uh, we thought, you know, we thought we had a good showing, though, thought we could run it back, go again, and uh, we did it. Here we are, owners of weak water. We got the swamp. Well, I, it was a, a tight, close fought, and uh, in the final moments, able to get through there. Was there any particular moment that stood out in your mind out there on the battlefield? You know, I got to give it to Pebbles. Great shot calling there. He gave us a really good strat to get to fort in a timely manner, and then after that, uh, just coordinated pushes into fort, held respawns well, and took it from there. Yeah, Pebbles is pretty good at what he does. Well, now that you're in charge of Reekwater, do you have any ambitions for the Hamlet? Or are you going to extend beyond the region? Oh, uh, you know, yeah, we'll get everything cleared up here, get everything upgraded again, and then we'll look to see what's next. We're definitely looking to expand. Very well. Well, congratulations on your victory. Is there anything else you might like to tell the citizens of Aternum in this moment? Thank you, everybody, for watching, and uh, get ready. Nice deck is coming. Later in Cutlass Keys, KOTT News caught up with a Marauder mercenary to discuss their victory there as well. Well, since you were in that fight, let me ask you about it. It was a full 30 minutes outside of the fort. How do you feel they came at you tonight? Uh, you know, it was a, it was a good war, John. It did what they came here to do, you know, and unfortunately we just came out on top. Yeah, well, that happens sometimes. Anybody on your team whose performance outshined everybody else tonight? Uh, there's, there's no ifs, ands, or buts. It's more of a, it's a team effort. They all, they all did great. Well, that's what I like to hear. Well, you guys are, uh, isolated here on the, I say isolated, quote unquote, on the southwestern peninsula of the island. Are you content to hold this region or will you be looking to expand beyond? Well, John, looking at the map right now, I think we're in a good spot, you know. I think we got our name out here. I think we might just uh, keep doing what we're doing and playing the game. Overwhelming invasion forces last night, leading to an unfortunate pillaging of several city services in Twillin, an afternoon of sunshine to prepare for the upcoming medley fair and contribute to the relief efforts in Weaver's Finn along the way, then be on the lookout for another night of incursion from the relentlessly invading forces of corruption across 20% of the island. Two more submissions for Simulated Fantasy Combat Resolution tonight, brought to you by LARPCO. Remember, if it isn't LARPCO, it's cardboard. First up, the Marauders of Emotional Damage assault the legendary hero worshippers of Outcast for control of the always contentious Restless Shore. Emotional Damage, always looking to test their skills against the opposing forces of the island, head east in their attempt to secure the fort at the top of the mud hill. Outcast have been king of the mud hill once before, but fell victim to the anarchy of the archipelago. This time, they'll have the lessons of the past to teach them their future. Then, the zealots of OPR Esports assail the marauders of Gorilla Town for control of First Light and the flow of the spice. OPR Esports have determined that the next step in their journey goes through Gorilla Town, and so move to secure the hyssop and spice production facilities of the island. The constant harvesting rotation in the fair weather region of First Light continues to produce aggressive conflict as factions vie for control of the island spice flow. We'll have any late breaking outcomes and reactions from the citizens tonight at 11. Until then, this has been War Correspondent John Chalant, KOTT News.